finally, finally, DaVinci Resolve 16.1 brings the feature I've been asking for forever. Welcome back to John's Films. Today's exciting. 16, it's in the books. It's solid and they've released it out of beta. 16.1, to everybody's surprise, is now a beta version. The best thing about it is it comes with a feature I was hoping for. That is dual screens without paying the hardware tax. This is a Decklink Mini 4K. I used to use this HDMI output so that I could play on my second monitor whatever I was grading. Now, you don't need it. This only does 4K at 30 frames per second, which was pretty annoying sometimes. It would just blank otherwise. And now I've got the ability to use the power that's sitting in my graphics card to push to another monitor what I'm grading while I'm grading it. Let's check out how it works. Here we go, you can see I'm in DaVinci Resolve. This is 16.1 beta. And in my editing tab, you'll see I've got my preview window for my media, as well as my timeline preview on the right. I'm going to choose workspace, come down. We've had dual screen before. This showed the meta uh, data on the left or right monitor while your central monitor was able to hold onto your editing views. But instead I'm gonna go to full screen viewer and I'm going to put it on live on two. Now, cutting over to my monitor 2, you'll notice it's immediately jumped to a full screen output of my timeline view. I can scrub through it, I can view it, and I can see color adjustments as they get made to it in real time. This is magnificent because it allows me to full screen see with the studio out without paying for extra hardware. So that is a feature I am thrilled about. Really excited that Resolve and Blackmagic Design brought it into 16.1. The other thing they mentioned yesterday, which is something to watch, is the Pocket Cinema 6K. This thing shoots 6K, 30 frames, and 60 frames per second. It shoots 10-bit color. It shoots RAW, meaning it records in RAW to its memory cards. And it has a Canon EF mount on a Super 35 full-frame sensor. This might be my next camera. I'll need to see what it looks like with in terms of focusing. I'll need to understand what the battery life looks like. But for video, this thing looks magical. At any rate, if you want to see some more analysis on that, some more benchmarks, I've got some processor-based benchmarks coming up this weekend. Please hit subscribe below. And thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.